look at a passage here in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 5 says, And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think they will be heard for their many repetitions. Now, I just want to point out something that's said in every verse. It said, when you pray, when you pray. Jesus is really making the assumption that we should be praying when you pray. So clearly, um, we need to be spending time in prayer. I like something that I read by Ian, Ian Bounds. He said this, um, it seems like the two things the enemy likes to steal from Christians are time in the Word and time to pray. It's no surprise the devil knows that if he can cut off your communication supply line with heaven, we are on our own powerless. When we get too busy to spend time in the Word or in prayer, we start to operate in the energy of the flesh and in our own understanding and we become easy targets for discouragement, fruitlessness, and frustration. He also said it this way, much prayer, much power. Little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. My encouragement to you today is this, that you make the commitment to say, hey, I'm going to make time for prayer. Even Jesus in his ministry would take time to pray. It says that he would get away, go away out into the wilderness or get away from everyone. And even though he had been given out a lot, he made time to get refueled and spend time with his Father God. And so I encourage you to do the same, that if Jesus needed to take time to pray, to communicate and fellowship with his Father so that he could hear from him and be strengthened and help, uh, I think we're all going to need that. Without a doubt in my mind, I know I need it to take the time to get away and pray. And so as Jesus said, when you pray, my encouragement to you is this, pray, make the time to pray. I like something I heard Dr. David Youngie Cho say. He said, the devil is not afraid of church ritual, but he is afraid of a church that knows how to pray. And I believe that's true of an individual as well. Uh, the devil's not afraid of you just knowing church ritual or being religious, but the devil is afraid if you know how to pray and you take the time to get in there and spend time with God, fellowship with Him, get fueled up, and as you do, I believe that you'll be strengthened, you'll be helped, you're encouraged, you won't give into discouragement or give into your flesh, but you'll live life filled with His Spirit, filled with power, filled with encouragement so that you can do what God has called you to do. 